So here's Alpha 4. Tower 251, Foxtrot X ray, 10 left. CAX 272, turn left heading 085, runway 10 left, clear for takeoff. Okay, flight craft's Take right off. in front of us. I'll just bring our zero left on the heading flaps up, zero speed brakes are down. down. Transponder. We're going to go ahead tower. Continue traffic holding in position and seven, set seven. that back to VFR. Final and final we're good to go. Final Door final seals final disengaged. Final air jet, runway 10 left, position and hold. 10 left, position hold, southwest 345. Uh, looks like he's waiting for us down on the end. Contact departure, good day. Go to departure, good day. Portland International Airport, or PDX, is the largest airport in the state of Oregon, with over a million passengers and 8,000 commercial flight operations each month. PDX has two parallel east-west runways of 11 and 8,000 feet and a single 7,000-foot crosswind runway running north and south. PDX is positioned along the south side of the Columbia River at an elevation of 30 feet, four miles northeast of downtown Portland. The city of Portland is located approximately 70 miles from the Pacific Ocean between the waters of the Columbia and Willamette Rivers. Portland is Oregon's largest city with approximately 2 million people in the metropolitan area and is the fourth largest city on the west coast. Go ahead and give Clarence Delivery a call. Let him know where we're at with what information we're ready to copy. Clarence Delivery, Columbia 39070 Tango, at Flight Craft with Juliet, ready to copy. Climbing 3970 Tango, Portland, Clarence, clear to uh, S21, via the Portland 5 departure, then as file, maintain 3000, departure 126.0, squawk 4651. Okay, cleared to Sierra 21 uh, via the Portland 5 departure and then as filed, maintain 3,126.0 and 4651. Columbia, 7 Tango, read back, correct. Okay, so we'll enter the code in there and that's 4651. And she also gave us the frequency of 126.0. We'll put that up here, 126.0. And we'll also go down and put ground. Now we need to load our flight plan in here, and we want to go from Portland to Sierra 21. We'll load Sierra 21 at this time. Last thing to do is to get our altitude of 3000, which is already set. Now we're going to make a turn out of here, and we'll do our run up off to the side. Southwest 2632, clear of the gate. With you, okay, we're going to complete the rest of our taxi checks and run-up checks here. So the first thing we're going to do is system page. We're going to check our cross time. Left alternator out. Looks good. Left side's coming back on. Now we're going to bring the right side off. Right alternator bus. Gone, gone, gone. Looks good. Cross tying over. Back right off alternator and out. on. Check the speed brakes. Speed brakes will confirm down. Autopilot. Organ pressure. We should be getting some trimming here. Aft pressure should be trimming nose down. There, that's good. We're going to disengage the autopilot and this time we'll check the heading. So, autopilot heading and it's moving to the right. Good. We'll sync it up. Should move to the left. Cross tie is off, autopilot switch is on, doors are secure, no enunciation. And now we'll give ground a call. 
Portland Ground, Columbia 397 Sierra Tango at flight craft, ready to taxi 210 left. And calling ground, I missed the call sign, second. Columbia 397 Sierra Tango. Columbia 397 Sierra Tango, Portland Ground, rider. Taxi 2, runway 10 left via Alpha 4 and Alpha. Gosh, for the 757 just passed. He'll be going in the ramp there at Alpha 5. Okay, Alpha 4, then Alpha, and we've got the aircraft at a 747, a 757 in sight that will fall behind. And Columbia 7 Sierra Tango, also Aetis, Julie Aetis. Current port in Alpha, we're at 3002. Okay, 3002, and we do have Juliet. Ground Rise 2532, Bravo 4, we're going to spot 6. Roger, 2532, point around, taxi 2, parking. Parking, right, 2532. Ground Rise there, 83, taxi. Rise there, 83, taxi, runway 10, right, intersection Echo via Tango Echo 3. Tango Echo 3, Echo tonight, Echo Rise in, uh, Okay, so two things we need to get taken care of before we get going, and I'll just clear out of here. We need our flaps and our backup boost pump, and let's kind of zoom in just a little bit on where we're going. Zoom in. There we go. Okay, so we're going to climb to 3000, and we're going to also ask for our heading. Um, Number 7, Sierra Tango, contact for one tower 118.7. Okay, we'll contact Tower 118.7. Skywest 5708, taxi to parking, just monitor ground. Taxi to parking, we'll monitor ground, Skywest 5708. Alaska 751, runway 10 left, clear to land, wind 1308. Clear to land, 10 left, and uh, say when one more time. 1308. Thank you, 751. And Tower Columbia 397 Sierra Tango, ready to go, 10 left. Roger, it'll be met. Columbia 397 Sierra Tango, runway 10 left, position and hold. Traffic's on a seven mile final. Okay, position and hold, 397 Sierra Tango. Alaska 751, turn right when able and contact ground point Niner. Have a good day. Alaska 751, good day. Right there, 279, Portland Tower. Roger, continue. Roger. Okay, hey, one final thing is just to sync the heading bug up with our current heading. Columbia 397 Sierra Tango, fly heading 120, wind 1307, and wind 10 left, clear for takeoff. 120 on the heading, clear for takeoff, 10 left, Columbia 397 Sierra Tango. Riser 279, runway 10 left, clear to land, wind 1407. Right to 150, 397 Sierra Tango. 
Also, while we've got this minute, pull out the approach plate to the Sun River Airport. This is the amazing thing. We're on our climb out right now, and we're already talking about getting set up for the approach. We are well ahead of things. So I've got the approach picked up. Let's take a look at our decision height. We're going to be coming straight in. And we're looking at about 4,760. So we'll go to our time reference, go down to our barometric minimum. And this time we We'll use the ready pad to load the barometric minimum. So I can just type that in and I'll type in 4760. Enter and then turn that on and my barrel minimums are set for the approach okay and also for our approach eh, it looks like the chutes is our initial approach fix and we want to cross the chutes at 7,000 feet is the altitude that we want to be crossing over the chutes at so let's go to let's go back to our multifunction display go to flight plan page three and now let's set up a profile so we plan our descent to descend down to 7,000 before we get to the chute. So let's just select um, when we reach the chute, we'll say. So zero nautical miles before. Before we get to enter, and then now we can roll down and select the chute. And the target altitude that we want is 7,000 feet. And what kind of descent would we like? Well, let's do about 700 foot per minute descent. Columbia 3970 Sierra Tango, climb and maintain 13,000. 13,000, 300, Sierra So, our VNAV profile is all set up. Now I'm going to select menu and turn messages on so I get a reminder when I need to start my descent. Hello and approach, Columbia 3970 Sierra Tango with request. Columbia 3970 Sierra Tango, go ahead and do a bus. Like direct to shoot when able. Columbia 3970 Sierra Tango, would direct the further work for you? Yeah, we want to shoot the uh, RNAV 1-8 in with the initial approach fix of the chute. Columbia 7 Sierra Tango, proceed direct chute send direct Sun River, 397 Sierra Tango. Okay, so we'll bring our flight plan up and bring it to the chute direct. And now we are clear direct to chute, so I just Select NAV. And we're going to be heading direct to shoot. 128.15. Okay, 128.15, Seattle Center. Seattle Center, good afternoon. Columbia 397 Sierra Tango, climbing to 10,600 for 13,000 direct to shoot. Number 397 Sierra Tango, Seattle Center. Okay, so we're starting our level off now at 13,000 feet. Follow our cruise checklist here. Okay, throttle set as appropriate. Again, we'll bring it back to about 31 inches, 31 and a half inches of manifold pressure. We'll do about 2450 on the RPM, and then I'll select the assist. Pull back to about 17 gallons. Right now I can tell that we are lean of peak, so I'm going to go ahead and enrich in the mixture to find peak. So now we'll lean it back about 70 yeah, degrees, like lean of peak. We are uh, just shy of 100 degrees lean of I'm happy with all of our cylinder head temperatures. That looks good. So here's a look at where we can go with the fuel that we have. And we've got about two hours and 12 minutes or so just before we're going to hit our reserve. Then this is where we'll be moving into about 45 minutes of reserve. So we can't quite make to Mexico, but we can make it pretty much through, um, you know, middle of California or so, or up into Canada even. Take a peek at our current ground speed. It looks like we're doing about 208 over the ground. And our estimated time of our arrival looks like we've got about only 18 more minutes en route. So not long. And a good strong wind, if we were to put that wind at our back, 70 knots we've got, that could really push us along quite nicely. As I mentioned earlier, we want to cross the chutes at about 7,000 feet, so let's go ahead and set our altitude up to 7,000 feet that we want to go to 